Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we are going to study about measuring angles. And now, if you watched my other video, you hopefully remember how I showed that an angle has two rays, and then you open it up. The, the two rays are the two sides of the angle. You can open it up like this, and then it will be tracing a circle, an, an arc of a circle like this, okay? And to measure angles, people have agreed that the full circle would be 360 degrees. And so, if your angle opens up, let me show you. If your angle opens up at the zero angle and goes all the way over here, then that would be 360 degrees. If it just goes half that way to a straight angle, then that's 180 degrees. And if it goes up this much, it is 90 degrees, the right angle, okay? And so we measure the angle comparing to the full circle. If it opened up to a full circle, it would be 360 degrees. And then if it opens up less than that, we just compare how much of the circle it has drawn here, or traced here, okay? Compared to the full circle. That's how angles are measured. We use a protractor to measure angles, because it has usually half a circle here marked, and it has the numbers for the degrees. Mine has two sets of numbers, and that's usually the case. One set of numbers starts here at 0, goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. Down over here to 180. And the other set of numbers starts here at 0, and goes all the way here to 180. Okay? So, let's say we want to measure this angle. To do that, I need to position the vertex of this angle here in my protractor in a certain point. Okay? Now remember that 0 is here. For my protractor, 0 is here. And here is my 0 line, so to speak. In your protractor, this might be the 0 line. You have to check if the 0 is actually here. And then it starts going up with the numbers. And uh, find your 0 line. And uh, on your zero line, there's usually a little mark, maybe a little circle or something, where you need to position the vertex. In mine, there is none, but I know that it's the midpoint here with the number 15. This midpoint here, I need to position to the vertex. And then I need to line up my zero line with one of these. Okay. Oops. Like this. Now it's ready for measuring. And then, this is how much my angle has opened, see? From here to here. And so I read now, over here on the arc of the circle, um, it is very near either 70 or 110 degrees. But you need to know which one, right? Well, here was zero. So I read the numbers that are 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. I read the lower numbers on mine and come to 70. And this is just a tad more than that, 71 degrees. Okay, and most protractors have marks here, so you can see the individual degrees. This one just goes by fives, each five is marked. Let's measure this angle too. So remember, I need to line up one of these with my zero line, but this doesn't work. Okay, now this, okay, this can work, yes. And the vertex has to be put exactly in, in this middle point here. For me, it is like the number 15 there. Line, line up. And OK. And now you can imagine the angle open from here to here, right? So this is how much of the circle it traces. And I again go with these numbers 10, 20, 30 something. This is my 35, and so it is 37 degrees. Now, let's say we have to draw an angle. I draw a 36 degree angle. Okay, it will be very close to this size. To start out, just draw a line. It's going to be the one side of your angle, okay? There. And now mark your vertex there. So if this is my vertex, then it's going to open up maybe somewhere there, okay? Like this much. Something like this and this. And now I do the same as if I was measuring the angle. I need to line up this with my zero line here and the vertex with the correct point. Like that. And now we'll mark over here where it's 36 degrees. There's 30, 35, and a little over that. Okay, 36 degrees. And then I use that mark and just draw a line, the, sec the other side of my angle. There. 
Now here's draw a 155 degree angle. Now, if you think of this, it's going to start here, go up to 90 and past 90 over there, somewhere here. It's an obtuse angle. We call angles that are more than 90 degrees, less than 180, over here somewhere, obtuse angles, which means like a dull type of angle. Whereas these, that are less than 90, are called acute angles. Acute angles. Think of it as a sharp angle, sharp point that could come to you and, you know, cut you or whatever. Whereas the dull type of angle, like here, obtuse angle, won't hurt so much if, if you were hit with, with an object with a dull angle. So to draw it, I have to first start out by drawing a line again. Okay, and now I know that my angle is going to open up from here, up to 90, and some more. It's going to be somewhere here, right? So, again, position the zero line of your protractor with your line you drew, and then the midpoint here. And now I have to go zero, past 90 to 100, 110, all the way to 150, 55, over here, and draw a mark, and then draw my line. There. So this angle here is the 155 angle, or it would have traced an arc of a circle from here. We often mark the arc of a circle here, just a little arc of a circle, okay? This is traced arc of a circle up to here, but people often mark it nearer the vertex, like that. Lastly, I have a triangle, and let's try to measure its angles. Okay, first angle here is easy, it's an acute angle maybe about 40 degrees, okay, I put my protractor like this, and read from here, this was 0, 10, 10, 30, 40, see it's almost 50, okay, 48 degrees I would say. Next angle, now, this is where students have difficulty, is placing the protractor just right, you know, where do you put it now, you know, okay, this has to be lined up with one of the sides. But do you line up it like this? Or where, you know? You need to remember, this midpoint has to be put to the vertex. But not like this. Because then you can't see whether the other side hits or touches the, the where you're measuring the angle. It needs to be turned like this, for example. And there's two ways I can do it. I can put it like this. Okay? Vertex at the middle and then the real line here. Or I can line up my zero line with this side of the angle, like this. Two ways to do it for each angle. So if I do it like this, here's my zero line. And think of opening the angle. It opens a little bit past 90 degrees. So this is an obtuse angle, okay? Start here, over there. So 0, 10, 20, go past 90, 100, 110. You see it's between 100 and 110. And so, 106. And here again. Okay, it might be difficult. You see, oh, this won't work. Can you see why? How about this way? Now, yes, it will work. Okay? This is an acute angle. It's not very much. It, this is my zero line. And it opens up only this far. So from zero, oh, I'm sorry. From zero, I go now with these top numbers 10, 20, 30. Almost 30 degrees, maybe 28. Okay. And now, you probably know that the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. Maybe you don't know it, but those of you who know it, might notice that my numbers don't add up to 180, okay? Because 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 6 is 22. But that is because it is so difficult to measure so accurately. To get just, you know, maybe in reality this is 47 and a half degrees, and I rounded it up. Maybe this is only 27 degrees or whatever. It's hard to measure accurately, so don't be alarmed if, if your sum of your angle doesn't get exactly 180 degrees.